Hi everyone, welcome to Right Sleep Sleep Chats. This is a series of short videos featuring Right Sleep creator, Dr. Stasha Gomenak, answering some of our frequently asked questions as well as others you may not have thought of to ask. We'll tackle one question at a time to help you improve your sleep and ultimately improve your health. Stasha, we've heard you mention acetylcholine in your lectures and our Right Sleepers are asking if you could explain what that is and why it's important. Hi, I'm Stasha Gomenak. I am a retired neurologist and now I'm a sleep coach. And Heather and I are doing a series of short videos to introduce you to some of the ideas regarding right sleep. I'm gonna share my screen and show you some slides for this one. So why am I talking about B5 and D? And why are they important? Are they related to acetylcholine? And the answer is yes. D plus B5 makes acetylcholine. Here is the equation. D, when it hits its receptor in the sleep switches, makes an enzyme that is the final enzyme that makes this chemical acetylcholine. And here's the chemical representation. In order to make acetylcholine, you have to have these two chemicals, choline and acetyl-CoA. Pantothenic acid is the core backbone. This is a piece right here of this chemical representation is made up by B5. There are several chemical processes that bind this acetyl group to it, but coenzyme A is necessary in concert with choline that comes from food. Choline plus acetyl-CoA those two are acted on by this enzyme choline acetyltransferase to make this neurotransmitter. Acetylcholine is pivotal for sleep and for paralysis in sleep, but there are no drugs that mimic acetylcholine. We have many drugs that mimic other neurotransmitters or change the levels of neurotransmitters. We use dopamine for Parkinson's disease. We use serotonin reuptake inhibitors to prolong serotonin and help depression. So this is one of the neurotransmitters that's pivotal in sleep, and we don't have any duplicate drugs that we can use. Now, we actually have vitamins that can become acetylcholine. I just showed you that equation. But because all of the literature says pantothenic acid deficiency doesn't exist because it's in every food, no one's investigated it until the last few years. So in the last three years, we're starting to see articles that are documenting that there is a B5 deficiency in certain parts of the brain. In my experience, B5 is only made by the gut bacteria. There are probably lots of vitamins that do come in food and are made by the gut bacteria. But in my experience, if B5 can make you have insomnia or feel perfect, and you don't feel the same when you eat food, it's not in food in that form. And now that we've lost the microbiome, B5 deficiency does exist and it's actually common and it's an extremely important chemical. Are there other reasons why I should care about acetylcholine? Ac acetylcholine is deficient in Alzheimer's disease. Acetylcholine is deficient in Parkinson's disease in the first stage. Acetylcholine is deficient in the brain in autism. It's deficient in the brain in ADHD. It's deficient in other neurologic illnesses. So in the last three years are the very beginnings of actual scientific studies that are documenting on brain slices, what I've been seeing clinically in my clients showing that you can develop an acetylcholine deficiency state that then produces multiple other illnesses. Acetylcholine is also an anti-inflammatory chemical. So it operates in parallel to what I've just told you about the nervous system, but it's actually being used out in the periphery in our tissues to make inflammation decrease. That means if you don't have enough acetylcholine, you have increased um, inflammatory disease of various kinds. Okay, well, thank you. That is That is a good explanation of something that is very complex, but that we need to really pay attention to. So thank you, Stasha, and thank you everyone for joining us. Please subscribe to the channel, like, and share our videos. You can find more information as well as the Right Sleep Program at drgomanek.com. Remember, we see our doctor once a year, 
because we heal our bodies every night. Until the next sleep chat, sleep well. Bye.